Good morning, y'all, and welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's so much to do here that me and Alicia decided to have a friendly competition, a challenge. We're gonna see who can plan the best day in Pittsburgh. There's just one twist. Who can spend the least amount of money? We flipped a coin and I'm first and we're gonna start off at the Duquesne Incline. All right, before we get started, we gotta pay for parking, $5. The kids are free. Me and Alicia cost $10 for the round trip. We made it to the top and we get to do this tour of how this trolley pulley system works. That's where the Steelers play. Yeah. Right over there, that's where the Pirates play. And that is Point State Park. Part of my strategy for choosing this place first is now I've seen the lay of the land, I know what Pittsburgh looks like, so I can plan the next thing on my list. But first, we have to get back to the bottom. Welcome to stop number two. This is Point State Park and we're right here in downtown Pittsburgh. It did cost us $10 for parking, but the state park is actually free. Before we get started with Point State Park, we forgot to rank the Duquesne Incline. And now this trip is about who can do it for the least amount of money, but we also need to make sure we're having fun. So Alicia came up with a great ranking system for activities. Love it, like it, didn't like it. Ashlyn, what did you think about the trolley ride? Good. Good? Oh, two thumbs up. What did you think about the train ride? Two thumbs up. Also two thumbs up. That was great. I give it two. I can only do one though because I'm holding the camera. Bubba, what'd you think? We're gonna go ahead and say two for him also because he didn't cry and he was super interested to look at everything. So I think he gives it two thumbs up. There you go. Thumbs up all the way around. Let's go see how Point Stake Park does. that bridge right there there's more where that came from Pittsburgh is known as the city of bridges there's over 400 bridges in this city welcome to Point State Park and this is the fountain right here at the confluence of the rivers here i would try to say the rivers but i cannot say them so we were just right over there on the incline at the observation deck right there there is steeler stadium and here is the fountain this was a nice pit stop <laughs> and it was basically free besides parking two thumbs up on my end i also give it two thumbs up ashlyn do you like this you like this all right I'm perfect. I've gotten two activities done with 10 double thumbs up across the board. I, I had it in my head. I was only going to give you one for this, but it's hot, it's humid, the wind is blowing just right and we're getting a mist on us, so it's like the perfect cool down spot. You know the good thing about going first is I have a choice of all the available activities. The bad thing is now Alicia's gonna see how my day went and she can plan to try to beat it. But man, this view here at Point State Park, this view is awesome. You're probably wondering what this little outline thing is right here. Well, it's an old fort that used to be here at Point State Park. So this is the outline of Fort Duquesne built by the French in 1754. It was destroyed when the English came. But this is the fort here. Can't y'all see it? It's got nice, beautiful walls right there. There's probably a bedroom and a bathroom over there looking at the fountain. 
Over here is probably the guest quarters. Right here is probably an excellent living room and dining area. I think that's how it worked out. <laughs> I've been to enough forts with you to know that was not the case. <laughs> I was trying to do a fort tour the way you like it, HDTV style. Oh, okay. And when we go outside, let's check out the front yard. <laughs> If you want to echo good, you gotta stand in the middle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that does it for Point State Park. Good news is I've gotten thumbs up at the first two activities, which means I'm gonna probably win because the next one is 100% a double thumbs up from the kids. The next one was the one I expected to be the one they loved the most. This is not number three, but it's right next door. But you can't come to Pittsburgh without stopping at the Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium and Heinz Field. What's that giant thing on the building? A ketchup. Did you know that the guy that made the ketchup bottle is from here? Did you know that? He's from this town. Fun fact for the day, Dad. Thanks for telling me. Did you know Mr. Ketchup Man was from here? I did not. He also makes mustard and several other things. Yes, I'm a fan of his ketchup, though. <laughs> I'd choose Heinz over Hunt's any day. What do y'all like, Heinz or Hunt's? It's always awesome to check out a NFL stadium. Next up on our list is something for the kids. Do you guys have any idea what it could be? Maybe right behind me. It's the Carnegie Science Center here in downtown Pittsburgh. I think he just had his first big ticket item. I didn't hear the cost, but we'll find out soon. So what was it? 80 bucks. Whoa, he splurged. The things they're gonna like best. You got I've, two hours. I have no idea. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> that way? You're sleeping like an astronaut in space. <laughs> so cool. Of course, the thing that I want to see the most, the little train exhibit is close, but we're going to look anyway because we have a GoPro. Well, how was that, guys? I won't see it until later. If you thought a toilet in an RV was bad, look at the, the toilet in the space station. I think I don't want to be in oh, like a flush button. You've got handles to hold yourself down out. because you'll be floating away. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is crazy. What are you doing? Get my heart rate up so I can go test their machine. So you work out dead? and your heart is beating less now? Oh look, 96, 99, there 51. I am. It's going faster. I think it just makes up numbers. What is this? Oh, <laughs> the more they jump, the more it toots. The fourth floor has something called Bricksburg. Please let it be Legos. <laughs> I don't see bricks yet, but I see a P-L-A-Y-G-R-O-U-N-D. I bet they have all the energy now. <laughs> they do, they have bricks. Do. I think this was pretty awesome. I'm glad it wasn't like overwhelming. I was a little worried when we got here and they're like, it's like four stories high, but it's like big exhibits. So it didn't take a lot of time to get through, which was good. So how many thumbs are we giving it? I'm gonna give it one. What? But oh, only because two things, I'm trying to be competitive 
and you brought me here before feeding me. <laughs> so I'm a little hangry, <laughs> but one thumb up for me. <laughs> it's two for me. How many thumbs does the Science Center get? 100. 100? Okay, so so two, we can, we can safely say two. How many thumbs does this place get? Do you like it? Bubba. Yeah, you got two. So it looks like you're the only one that didn't give it two. Should have fed me first. <laughs> so that means I have almost a perfect score of double thumbs up. Ashlyn, are you gonna tell us the weather? What's the weather gonna be like? It's gonna snow? Watch out for that L. The L's coming to get you. The L's gonna get you. Oh, this L. <laughs> that giant L's gonna get you. Oh, you just got snowed on. Parking here at the Science Center costs $5. You pay when you leave. Now, to make these girls happy and to get some more thumbs up, we're gonna go eat some food. We just paid 10 more dollars to park to eat at the restaurant. That brings our total of $30 for parking today. You're gonna catch me just on parking, unless, unless your activities <laughs> charge for parking too. I'm gonna be looking for those free parking activities. Now, let's go eat. Man, we just said we liked their little van called Peace, Love, and Little Donuts. The owner came around the corner and asked if we want some free donuts because they're closing for the day. You don't ever say no to free donuts, especially when they look like that. Oh, say thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they did it. They're so nice. Have a good cute. night. Thank, thank you, ma'am. You know Alicia's hungry when she immediately does an about face and goes get some free donuts. You can't say no to free donuts. Kevin said, no, that's okay. And she's like, well, I'm closing. They're free. I did an about face, turned around and got those free donuts. They look delicious and they're little. They're like this big. You know what's unfair? She's gonna use these donuts tomorrow morning as our breakfast <laughs> on her day that she plans. Hey, they didn't cost you anything on your day, so it's okay. It's a win for both of us. So we're eating at something that is known in Pittsburgh. It's called Permonte Brothers. Apparently it's a place where they put french fries on everything. So we had Permonte Brothers. It cost us $67.26. So what did you think about Permonte Brothers? You want the truth? Yep. <laughs> What's that mean? It satisfied my hunger, but it wasn't that great. I don't know. I like them with, with condiments. I need mayo, mustard, ketchup, and this didn't have anything. It had like the oil and vinegar that was on the coleslaw, and then they put fries on it and the bread. It was just very dry. So I'm not sure I'd go back. I'm a little disappointed too. I think I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down as well. Everyone says you're supposed to try it here. It's a cool idea, but it, it's just not that satisfying. It's just like a whole bunch of everything on a sandwich and there's nothing on it to make it not dry. what do you think about dinner? You gave it two thumbs up. Kayla, you too? Well, I had to dump it. Hey. Bubba, did you like dinner? Yeah, you did. I it's because they got chicken tenders and french fries. They love chicken tenders and french fries. I thought we talked about it, Ashlyn. I thought we were gonna give it thumbs down because it didn't have kids shows playing on the televisions in there. <laughs> also, there was no dessert menu. So we talked about it. I told her, give it some thumbs down because I was trying to help myself, but I guess she gave it two thumbs up. I specifically heard a hundred thumbs up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so how much do you think I spent today on my day? 180. We spent $187.26. I had 17 loved it, one like, and two dislikes. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think Alicia's gonna do tomorrow on her day? Am I gonna spend more or less? I have some ideas on how to spend less, but I don't know if that's gonna affect me in the fun factor. So, I don't know, stay tuned, cause it's coming. See you guys in the morning. This Aspen 50 from Bouge RV, head over to pavenewpaths.com and get yourself some merch. Any merch purchased between now and September 17th has you automatically win 
This Aspen 50 from Bouge RV. Good luck. Welcome to day two of Pittsburgh. This is the day I planned. Our first stop is the Phipps Botanical Gardens. And we got free parking. I one up you on that one. See, that's the problem with going first. Now she knows how much I spent. <laughs> She's been planning this all night, trying to figure out how to spend less than me. <laughs> it's not a lie, I have. Tickets cost $85.60 for the whole family to get in. place i hope y'all also give it two thumbs up this is way bigger than what i was expecting and i think it's our first time to be at a botanical garden when things are actually in bloom all the other ones we visited i feel like we were there out of season so i'm excited ashlyn where are you ashlyn Ashlyn! and furious we got through the botanical gardens in about an hour we walked just over a mile but that's all part of my strategy because the next place we're going we're gonna have to walk a lot I know the girls are probably a little tired from all of our walking on Kevin's day so I had to save the energy two well, thumbs up two thumbs up oh I was a little worried I wouldn't get that from you what about you two, two thumbs up. up what about you two thumbs up, two thumbs up. What about you? I'll give it two. Really? Give it two. Okay. Two thumbs up from me too. The only reason it's two is because we were fast and furious. You could be here all uh, day. Yeah, if it had just been Kevin and I, he probably would have found a bench out here and sat while I continued looking. I'd have pulled a fill. And I could have stayed in there all day. That was amazing. <laughs> What's up next? Next up, I can't say. I told him it's a surprise. So see you when we get there. Want to know how much we paid for parking at our second adventure? How much? It's free. Yep, I'm thrifty like that. I see a big sign. You see a big sign. Are you excited about the big sign? It's actually the world's largest sign. That's what we're seeing. My what? No? Are you? No? You don't want to see the world's largest sign? No oh, thanks. Where do you think we are? I don't know. What is your guess? I think the zoo. Why would you think the zoo? This is the world's largest sign. There's no way this is the zoo. Why would you think zoo? I just think that. You think so? Kayla, what do you think this is? A fun place. A fun place. It is a fun place. We're not actually here to see dragons. We are at the Pittsburgh Zoo. So our zoo adventure is $82. In 
case you're wondering what all this is, the Asian Lantern Festival is also at the zoo right now. It's an additional charge and unfortunately it's not open today or tonight so we don't get to see it. I was really looking forward to that one. Now I have a dilemma. They want to ride the carousel. That's four dollars a ticket. If we do that I think I'm over budget <laughs> and we haven't eaten a thing. Can I get some bonus points? <laughs> <laughs> so we convinced them we'll do the carousel on the way out. I hope it's not closed whenever we're coming out. So many picture opportunities here. I just can't pass them up. I'm starting to think that we didn't come here for animals. We came here for <laughs> the uh, lantern oh, thing. Yeah. Hey, look how great their dresses match with everything. I am a fan of a zoo that gets you right to one of the awesome animals first. We're literally right here in front of the gate and the first thing they show you is a tiger. Come on y'all. I did no research to see if there were elephants at the zoo because usually when I do research it means there's not an elephant and there's three like right here. Best day ever. In case you didn't know, I love elephants. <laughs> I don't care if y'all give this two thumbs down. This is going to be great for me. <laughs> so we're at the gorilla exhibit and there is a baby and the mama, oh, look at it! She's just carrying it on her back. It's the cutest thing ever. I mean, I know it's cute, but is it that cute if that happens? That would get some major YouTube views. Come on, babe, take one for the team. <laughs> Look, it's coming out and everything. Come to splatter you. No, sir. <laughs> Alicia is now officially cheating. She found a playground at the zoo. I'm for sure getting thumbs up. So we were getting to the point in the day where the girls are like done. They don't want to walk, they're grumpy. But then we happened upon this little slide area in the zoo. All of a sudden they have all the energy. We may never leave now. Okay, it's late in the day, so I hope that they're generous with their thumbs, but let's find out. By the way, she took him to the playground hoping to get good <laughs> thumbs up out of this. All right, let's start. How many? Whoa, how many is that? Oh, it was are two. we in consent? It's two, okay. Two thumbs up. 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 I have zero thumbs down so far. So we're back at the carousels and unfortunately it's closed. Do I still get two thumbs up yeah. even though the carousel's closed? Yeah. Okay, what about you? Do I still get two thumbs up? I think that was a reluctant yes. I'm thinking she asked him knowing in case it's closed she already got the vote. <laughs> 
I did not. I didn't even think that far ahead, but I am glad I already got my vote because there's no recounts. We've had a great day, but uh, you're missing one thing. What's that? We're hungry. We are hungry. And so far, you spent $167.60. That means you have to feed us on $19.66 to beat us. Oh, no. Okay, so now the dilemma. Do we eat cheap, like, dollar menu somewhere and stay within budget with all of our thumbs up? Or do we blow the budget, go over, and keep our thumbs up? You better feed me better than I fed you yesterday. <laughs> I'm not having a sandwich tonight. Hey, I'll splurge and I'll let you get two things off the dollar menu. <laughs> two dollars? Two, everybody gets two dollars to spend and then I think we stay in budget. I think it's safe to say that Alicia is going to be blowing her budget. <laughs> Look, we're starving. The dollar menu off of McDonald's or wherever just wasn't going to cut it. So if you're going to blow the budget, you might as well blow it good and I know for sure this will get two thumbs up from the girls because we all love some Texas Roadhouse. You got two thumbs up for me we haven't gone in yet. <laughs> I hope they have quick service that's the only thing that might get on my thumbs down is if they take too long except all of our passengers are nice and asleep. <laughs> Look at those kids. They're sleeping like they're done. <laughs> they are done. I hate that we have to wake them up, but I know they need to eat. We did a lot of walking today, so let's get inside. Not only did I give you dinner, I gave you dinner and a show. We had the volunteer fire department and the police department here doing a charity event and five from each team had to eat like half a rack of ribs, two rolls and a glass of water and they were racing. So I gave you a show. I'm starting to think that you played this on purpose. You were feeding <laughs> us and you got a free thing. Yeah, we were all cheering in the restaurant for them. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, we didn't know that was gonna happen here. I promise I didn't research that, but it was a great free uh, thing. And then we even got to take the girls outside and Caden and let them play in the fire truck. They opened it up for all the kids and let them climb up and sit in the seat. So it was a great night. Kind of feel like you saved this one. You knew it was gonna be here. You planned for this because the girls be like fire truck mommy wins <laughs> that was my bonus points i knew i was gonna go over budget but with my bonus points over there maybe i still won we have to rank dinner was it two thumbs up one thumb up or thumbs down two 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 from kaden of course two from me what about you? two from me awesome. perfect day on thumbs up so if i wouldn't have went over budget i would have beat you Texas Roadhouse cost me $79.10. That brings my total for today, $246.70. I went way over Kevin. I beat Alicia by $59.44. So, who had the better day? Did I have the better day because I did it for less, but I did have some dislikes? Or did Alicia? have the better day. Even though she spent more than me, she had a perfect day on thumbs up. Right, so we need your help. Let us know who's the winner or him. I didn't get any thumbs down, but he spent less. So let us know in the comments. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We love you. See you in the next one.